How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with some Black Desert Mobile. Now check out this amazing pet. This is what I'm going to be showing you how to get your own copy of, for free as well. It's the newest event they've added to the game. Well, today we're looking at the new Forgotten Labyrinth of the Ancients that was added to the game. Our only way to enter this is during the time frame, I believe it's like 12 noon, or maybe it's 12 server time, till around world boss. Like, like your, like lunchtime, whatever, but you get the entrance in your, in the mail. So make sure you check your mail if you haven't. What you should have in the mail is this cool looking tablet called the Cracked Ancient Tablet. It can be used to gain entrance to the Forgotten Ancient Ruins. These, this tablet will disappear once you claim its rewards. Now to enter the actual ruins, as long as it's up, you'll see this little yellow symbol up here, and we're gonna press enter. Now, I was told that this was a little hard, so I skip back to Velia really quick and I grab my large potions. So let's jump in and, and uh, take a look. I have no no prior anything except for the fact that my friends have told me that they've been completely one shot in rounds four and five. So here we go into round one. We just we run into a square area and the goal is to kill all of the enemies coming at us. Probably could just auto through these first couple. No minimap. I actually, I really usually rely on my minimap when I'm fighting to kind of see where the red dots are at. Because these guys sort of blend in with the uh, background. Move to the second chamber. Not this way. Looks like it's just head straight down the stairs. We got a little, we got a little direction to let me know. Okay, cool. Cut, cut screen's actually going to bring me to the next chamber. Here we go. Ooh, this looks like the Ancient Runes boss, actually. Get, get a good target lock on there. Oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, man. Too many things got reset. Quick slot, yes. I'm, I'm spamming pots with my, uh, my move button. And I got my farming page on, so my Meteor is not equipped. Fantastic. Ding. We'll do all right. We're doing all right. It's only it's, you got to get all of the kinks ironed out in the second round. That's the key. Taking a lot of hits. I have a feeling this 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 round is not gonna go well. Uh, so that looks like the boss down though for for the floor, the second floor. Floor four and five are the crazy ones. That's what I've been told. Let's see if our friend here wants to let me try to complete four and five or not. We'll have to see. Move to the third chamber. I keep forgetting it's not automatic. Here we go. I like fighting bosses more than I like fighting a bunch of trash. Interesting. Poisonous labyrinth spider, don't! Literally the opposite of what I possibly could have said. I don't want to fight a bunch of little things. Literally fighting a hundred little things that are exploding on me. Okay, okay, okay. We're out of blinks, and the blinks seem to be the only thing keeping me out of these explosions. Um, is this, is there something spawning them over here? Am I finally catching on? Nope, just the spiders? Doesn't, it doesn't look like I can kill, can I kill this thing that's spawning them? I don't believe I can. Really, Scarlet? That's just, that looks like a exploding labyrinth spider. Tell them, tell them, how do we beat the exploding labyrinth spider? The third room has revealed itself. The artifact has revealed itself. I think we did it. The third room. All right, here we go. Fourth room it is. All right, let's head let's head to the fourth room and see how this goes. Raven Spectre. Whoop! Ah, get, get, get up! 
Raven Spectre. So we're actually fighting a raven. Interesting. Now, I've heard... I've heard that the Archmage can practically one-shot you. Scarlet. <laughs> Whew! That hit like a truck. Oh, we're dead! Alright. Uh, we died. That was, uh, yep. Yep, we definitely died. Gotta, gotta be, gotta, <laughs> whew! So, you can re-enter. Enter the Forgotten Lab in the entrance. As long as you die, you can just spawn in and re-enter and retry the stage. So you don't have to worry about, uh, about, uh, oh no, I'm actually gonna lose this time. Now, one of the tricks to stage four, ooh, it looks like we gotta start, start back at stage one, though. That, that, that part does suck. So I'm gonna skip us right back to stage four, entering stage four, and we'll catch up to there. All right, here we go. We're heading to heading to floor four. By the way, floor three with the crazy suicide exploding spiders. All you gotta do is run around a circle and let them all kill themselves. Who would have known? They all blow up, just dodge their explosions. You don't even have to attack them, and eventually you just beat the level. Easy. Now floor four. Apparently, you can get a whole bunch of different options to fight against, <clears throat> and um, yeah, well, Huntress is is super. Super busted. <laughs> Eight thousand health gone in like two hits. What is that? Oh, don't run into the black circles. They kill you. Whew. Yeah. All right. Uh, stage four. Uh, try number. Uh, how many am I willing to admit to here? Uh, we'll say three. Try try number three. Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, it's the Valk. Is the Valk beatable? Maybe, maybe. I don't know, Valks are pretty busted right now. Boom, right on the face. Oh, that, that, was, uh, that was a melee skill that I used. Oh, is she bugged? Wait, 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 you're actually like super bugged. Oh, get out of the black, black stuff. You okay over there? Uh, yeah, that's uh, come on, man. This is, I can't, I can't win with you bugged. All right, if uh, your Labyrinth run goes about as well as mine has so far, you'll be doing this floor number three multiple times. And I finally figured out there's a good trick to it. You don't have to kill anything because everything is these self-destructing spiders. So keep running around in circles. Uh, don't run back over spots that you've kind of been around recently. <clears throat> and you can get all the spiders to just kill them, Bl blow up. And that's the easy way to beat this floor. But look out, because if you get exploded on by like 15 of them, you're probably going to die. <laughs> Just keep running. Time remaining. Four, three, two, one, ending. And there you go. That was a lot easier than actually trying to kill them, because I kept getting hit constantly. <laughs> Onwards to the fourth chamber for the uh, first time. Yeah, that's that's how many times we've went in here. The this would be my my first time in the warrior. Let's go. So uh, I was told by somebody that this is basically scoring it big time. Uh, <laughs> if you get the warrior, you can practically auto. So far, it's proving to be correct. Basically, you want the warrior. Of all your options to get on floor four, you absolutely want the warrior. <clears throat> so far, that is totally true. Um, yeah, the Huntress, she literally two-shot me. Her first hit on me put me down to 200 HP. That's, that's hitting me for like 9k. And this warrior <laughs> hits like a wet paper bag compared to her. I might have to do a little bit of kiting here because he is... Ahead of me health bar wise, but I have been doing this very, very lazily. And I may have taken a bunch of damage from the, the black circles as well. That actually might be where the majority of my damage has come from. Let's see if I can go really far away from them. Fight him over here, maybe. <clears throat> 
2k. Throw in some uh, black spirits, maybe to help bridge this gap. Ah! All right, we're gonna kite for a bit. Although I don't know if I can kite this guy because he's kind of crazy. <clears throat> did I get the healing aura from that? I did. But I'm just gonna die to these these black circles anyhow. <clears throat> Whew! We are gaining health and technically doing damage to him at the same time. So this is this is working. Cast heal. Kite a lot. <clears throat> I could just rotate through my iframes still. Uh, as well as casting heal. That would, that would be smart. That's probably just standard combos. And this glitch actually seems to be not the most uncommon thing. I got this one time versus the Valk. So that's how I finished him off. He seemed to got stuck in place. But uh, yeah, these are hard. Not gonna lie. Warrior is by far the, the easiest. Valk was hitting me pretty hard. Huntress borderline one-shot me. Uh, the Archmage is Meteor. If you get caught by that, apparently it's it's a one shot. <clears throat> now, I was told to absolutely make sure you heal to full before going into the fifth chamber, but the fifth chamber is apparently easier than the fourth one. So we'll catch up when I uh, manage to heal off this damage I took. <clears throat> you must win the battle against the Ancient Guardian. Look what we got here. Ancient Labyrinth Guard Tower. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Don't one-shot me. Chill. That hurt a bit. Not too bad. No, no blinks, no blinks. <clears throat> Land the heal and uh, get out. Whatever that is, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hard pass. That's a hard, whatever it is, I don't want it. Miss the range freeze. Oh, he's, he's kind of like what, injured? It's not moving. Freeze and get out. Yeah, yeah. Oops, oops. No, no, I didn't want to stand underneath you with the ignite. 14 bars. <clears throat> We're sustaining pretty decently, so this looks like a win unless he comes out with something really big in the second half. <clears throat> this is a joke compared to the fourth floor. Oh my gosh. The fourth floor is insane. Definitely some scaling issues. <clears throat> Guardian's core. Huh. Time remaining, 14 seconds. Oh gosh. <clears throat> what happens if I don't kill it? I don't understand. Why is there more stuff? Am I being punished? Maybe I was supposed to kill the core, and because I didn't, I have to fight him again. Two. He is taking damage. Final room's artifact has revealed itself. Whoa! All right, all right. Come on. You can get a pet or you can not get a pet. There's been some really happy people and some really not happy people. I got two chests. Please tell me that it's in the chest and I've already not, and it's not that I've already not gotten the pet. The pet looks so great and you guys know how I feel about pets. <clears throat> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, it's in the box. There's three options. Tier one, tier two, or 300. Ancient gold coins. We have two boxes to pull. I could get two pets. Come on. Use. Use. Ancient gold coins. You've got to be kidding me. No! I wanted the pet so badly. Maybe I should have opened them both. Played RNG better. Opened two boxes, not one at a time. Ah! All right, well, you get to do this every single day. And hopefully, you get lucky and you get the new pet. I certainly want... So I, can, I have zero entrances now. And they're supposed to be sending us an entrance in the mail every day. A new cra uh, cracked ancient tablet will let you re-enter. So remember... The third room, just run around in circles. Honestly, unless they do an up an up patch update, if you get the Huntress in the fourth room, just exit and start again immediately. The Huntress one-shot me. It was disgusting. But uh, the Forgotten Labyrinth of the Ancients, this was cool. I, I do really enjoy content that actually challenges me. If you get the Warrior in the fourth room, that wasn't much of a challenge. You could totally auto that. But... Um, yeah, this was neat, and uh, I hope, good luck getting a new pet. That's the tier one reward to get at this. You definitely want to get the new pet. Multiple copies of it, ideally. And getting free pet fodder, that's phenomenal. Eventually, we're going to get tier five pets. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for checking it out. Tell me about your adventure through the Forgotten Labyrinth of the Ancients in the comments down below. Uh, I think, uh, to be perfectly honest, I died in the fourth room four times at least. I think I got it on my fifth try. It was like um, a Sork. The, my fight with the Sork was kind of close. Huntress one-shot me. I got a Valk next, but, I, but the Valk glitched, and I didn't want to win on a glitch. Like, she just stopped moving. So I, I restarted it myself. Then I got another Huntress, and then I finally got a Warrior, who I practically, you watched, practically threw it on auto and just cleared it. I have my creator code at the bottom right, and if you're a, if you're a new account created since March 3rd, you can find the, the support your favorite content creator event going on in the present right side tab and that's where you're able to enter that creator code at the bottom right there you can also find it in the description below the video and i really appreciate that because it supports the channel and helps me keep making this awesome content that's it that's it for today though thank you so much for watching until next time smash that subscribe button and stay classy